Hello there. Happy Easter and thanks for joining us. In this tutorial, we'll be creating four fun and easy projects. A hot cross bun trinket dish, some Easter egg earrings, a cute pink bunny trinket dish, and we'll also be doing some pouring art on eggs. It's going to be great fun, so let's get into it. For this fun little project, we'll need some sort of a work surface. In this case, I'll be using an easy clean palette. For clay, we'll be using a 500 gram block of terracotta air hardening modeling clay. To paint our hot cross bun, we'll be using burnt sienna, titanium white, yellow ochre, and lamp black, all in acrylic color. And we'll be using a medium flat to paint the surface and a large palette knife to cut our clay. The first step is to knead the clay into a bun shape. Once we are happy with the shape, we cut the bun in half with the palette knife and mould one half of the clay into a cup. Once we have the cup shape, we press it out so the walls are a consistent thickness and flatten out the top edge with the blade of the palette knife. When we are happy with one side, we can follow the same steps and do the other half of our bun. Lay the two halves together and smooth them out so it forms a roundish shape. To create the cross, roll a small sausage shape, lay it flat on the board and cut it in half with the palette knife. Shape it so that it's relatively flat on both edges and lay it over the bun and cut it to size. Next, create a second one and lay this over the first to create the cross and smooth them on. Hot cross buns traditionally have raisins and sultanas in them. So to suggest some protruding from the surface, we create some little balls and press them onto the surface. Then smooth it all off with a damp brush. Allow this to partially dry. This is called the leather stage. and should take about 12 hours. Then remove the top, give it a final smooth on the edges of that join. Leave these apart and let them fully dry. Then we can paint our bun. Squeeze out some titanium white, yellow ochre and burnt sienna. To paint the bun, we roughly mix the color directly on the board and then paint the bun. This is good because it stops the color from being a consistent flat tone. So as well as it being more interesting, it also looks more realistic. For the cross, we can use titanium white with a touch of yellow ochre to make a dirty white color and carefully paint this over the cross. The last step is to paint the raisins. We do this with black mixed down with a touch of white And voila, you got yourself a pretty cool hot cross bun trinket dish there. If you love pouring art, you're going to have lots of fun with this project. So let's get into it. For this, you will need six boiled eggs, four small cups, the acrylic color primary set, some blue tack, some acrylic flow medium or pouring medium, some paper towels and a palette knife to mix our paint. First we have to mix up our paint. So we pour some medium into each cup and then squeeze in our paint and give them a good stir. Because we are pouring onto a 3D surface, it's a good idea to keep the paint quite thick. A rough ratio would be one part paint to three parts medium. Once the paint is all mixed, we can let it rest and set up the eggs to accept the paint. A good way to set up the eggs to accept paint is to turn the egg carton upside down and create rings with blue tack and sit the eggs onto these. Make sure there is a little space between each egg and that the carton the eggs are sitting on has some sort of protection under it. 
in this case a sheet of thick paper. We can then start the pour. Begin by pouring the paint slowly over the centre of the egg. Then lay the next layer into the first and so on. Follow the order of colour until the whole egg is covered with paint in interesting layers. Then let them all dry. Turn the carton over the right way up, then fill a cup with red paint. This mix can be created to a ratio of one part paint to one part medium. Dip the egg in the cup so that the end of it that is bereft of any paint is now covered with red paint. Then place it back into the carton dry side down. And voila! With any sculpting project, a base is required to protect your work surface from clay and so you can spin the piece so that you can work on it from different angles. We'll be using clay for our bunny and this is the white air hardening modelling clay in a 500 gram block. We'll also need a palette knife to cut our clay and a medium flat tacklon brush. For paint, we'll be using titanium white, yellow ochre, brilliant red and black all in the acrylic colour range. We can begin by opening the pack of clay and cutting it in half. We then fashion the square into a circular shape. Once the clay is the desired shape, we use our thumbs to press into the centre to make a cup shape. This is also called a pinch pot. Take your time with this and ensure that the wall thickness is at least one centimetre thick. You might notice that your hands are drying out the clay. If this happens, just dip your hands into some water and smooth out the clay. Once the cup shape is finished and smooth, lay the slab on its edge and cut off two blocks of clay about one centimetre thick, or the same thickness as the wall thickness of the cup. These slabs can then be cut into bunny ear shapes by basically cutting the corners off each piece so it's sort of like a diamond shape with one end cut flat. Roll the edges of the ear, then attach them to the bowl. To make the bond stronger, it's a good idea to cut out a section in the cup and insert the ears into this cutout. Then smooth the clay up from the cup onto the ear. The dish is now modelled and we just have to start cutting the markings for the face. Begin by creating a little triangle shape for the nose. Take a line from the bottom of the nose and curve the mouth out each side from the bottom of that line. Create two eyes with crescent shaped semicircular lines. Add some fine lines off the crescent shape and then add some whiskers. Once we are finished with this stage, we have to let our little friend dry. A good way to do this is to sit it upside down on a tall glass. Once our trinket dish is bone dry, we can paint it and the first part is to apply the black into the cup part of the dish. Place the paint about one centimetre from the top of the edge. Next we can paint the black into the scored details of the face. Allow these coats to dry. Next squeeze out some red, titanium white and yellow ochre and mix up a warm pink. Lay this over the face part of the dish being careful to keep the pink out of the score marks. Black is obviously a dark tone, so it will take a few coats of pink to fully cover it. So lay one coat down and let it dry. Then lay another over the top, then paint the rest of the dish. And voila. In this tutorial, we'll be making these funky Easter egg earrings from polymer clay. They are fun to make 
And if you haven't used polymer clay before, then this is a pretty good project to cut your teeth on. So let's get into it. You don't need a lot of materials for this project. We'll be using a small plate to bake our clay. And for clay, we'll be using the Make and Bake Metallic Polymer Clay Set. This is great as it has 10 vibrant shimmery colors to create with. To cut our clay, we use a palette knife and we also need some earring hoops. The first step is to create the base for the earrings. So take out the silver block and press it flat onto the plate so that it is of a consistent thickness. I have used the handle of a small hobby knife to make the clay flat, but a round pencil could also be used. Once the clay is flattened to the desired thickness, I use a little egg shaped template that I made from paper and use this as a guide to profile cut two egg shapes and remove the waste clay. We can then take out some metallic glue and roll this flat. Then cut a straight edge and remove the waste. Then lay this sheet approximately a third of the way up the eggs. Next we roll out a sheet of metallic red. Cut a straight edge and lay this onto the top third of the egg. Roll it flat and again profile cut it to the shape of the egg, then remove the waste. We then cut two thin bands out of that metallic blue again and lay this across the egg just below the red and cut and remove the waste from each side of each egg. We can then do the same thing but with metallic pink and lay these bands below the metallic blue bands. Once in position, we can then remove the waste where appropriate. To create some spots, I roll a very thin sausage out of metallic red and cut six tiny sections and lay three in between the pink band and the blue base color and squash them so they become circular shapes. I then fill the inside of each red circle with gold Create a hole for each hoop and bake it at 130 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. And voila! We hope you had fun creating with us. Why not make a day of it and check out some of Montmartre's other projects. Explore your new home of creativity and check out the Create section of the website. Here you will discover a whole heap of free projects and how-tos to keep your creative juices flowing. Plus, we love seeing you create. So be sure to snap up a photo and hashtag Montmartre Art or tag us on Instagram or Facebook so we can see what you've come up with. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.